right what's going on people lynn here with a video for you all today we're going to take a look at the s pen for the galaxy s21 ultra just came in today it's been on back order for some time so let's see what's in the box it has the s pen it has two nibs a tweezer and a leaflet so let's go ahead and open this and we're going to compare it to the galaxy tab s7 plus s pen so let's go ahead and unbox this and again this was on back order just got it the date of this video so oh the little nibs fell off so here's the little leaflet it unfolds here's the s pen and here is the little box to those of you who may know this is reminiscent to the box of when i got the um the galaxy buds pro maybe you don't open it at all you just slide it out okay so anyway, you see down in there, you see there's two nibs. There's a white one, there's a black one, and these are the tweezers. So I'll just leave that alone. I'll put that back in the box. And now it is good that you actually, it actually comes with the nibs. Because y'all correct me if I'm wrong, which I know you will. I don't think the, um, the Apple Pen come with um, replacement nibs, do it? Y'all let me know. I'm sure you will. So, <clears throat> first off, let me... Because, okay, when I saw this, I was... I'm like, well, what makes it 5G? That's not it. This is the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G S Pen. It's not a 5G S Pen. The name of the S Pen is Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. That's the name of the S Pen. It's not a 5G S Pen. I just want to clarify that because it may confuse some people. Uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and again clarify that. Now, one other thing that you notice right off the bat is the size difference so the s21 ultra s pen <laughs> why they call it that i don't know is noticeably smaller so this s pen that come with galaxy tab s7 or s7 plus is rechargeable okay this s pen is not this S Pen has the air gesture commands. So you can, you know, you can hold the little button here. You can do the little wiggles and waggles. You can screenshot. You can advance. You can go backwards. You can take pictures. You can do all that with this pen and not even have to touch your phone or your tablet. This pen only has air commands depending on how your settings are on your device i have it set up to where when this hovers over top of the screen it does not put up that little floating um bubble you know the little floating bubble that pops up then for you could tap it and then it'll pop up with the commands i don't like that so i have it to where i have to physically press the button when I'm close enough to the screen and then it'll pop up with the command menu. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, also, this is not rechargeable. I don't know if I just mentioned that or not, but this pen is not rechargeable. So you will not be able to charge this pen. I already tried it. So Okay, I keep getting, it keep messing up no matter what I do. So, the 5G S Pen is not rechargeable. I tried it just to be sure. It will not, it does not charge. Whereas the S Pen for your tablet 
is rechargeable because of the air gesture command. The air gesture. Um, again, you can see that it's physically smaller than the regular S Pen. Of course, it's going to be lighter. This has like battery in it or whatnot because it can hold a charge so you can use the air gesture commands. This, of course, is not. So it is bigger than a normal S Pen. If I still had my note, I could show you that. But it's bigger than an S Pen. Uh, it feels good in the hand. I like the fact that it is about the size of a pen or a pencil. It's not tiny like the regular uh, S pens in the notes. Um, so I do like that. I do like this. It has a weightiness to it. And again, um, it's more meaty. It's more beefy. But this will work too, you know, because right now, again, I don't have a note. So I don't have any former S pens available. So I went ahead and got this because I like to use these when I uh, edit videos and things like that. That way you get the fine tuning of the editing of the videos. So um, I do like that. But anyway, I don't want to make this video entirely too long. If you have any questions... Uh, leave them down below. Also, just a little bit more in reference to the pen itself. It states from the website, you can scribble, sketch, and jot down ideas with ease like you would when writing in a notebook. So the same thing you can do on a note, you can do on the S21 Ultra. Not the S21 uh it's, you know, just the standard S21. S Pen functionality only works on the S21 Ultra of the S line. The phones in the S line, it's only the S21 Ultra. You can use the S Pen. So again, it has air commands that let you take full advantage of what the S Pen has to offer. Hover the S Pen again over the screen and click the S Pen button which is right here, to access a menu of signature S Pen features, including Samsung Notes and Live Messages. So again, this is something that is automatically included in your phone. Like you don't have to download anything. You don't have to do anything special. It just works. And it works with any S Pen. You don't have to get this particular S Pen. If you have an, uh, an old note, if you have an old Galaxy tab, you know, anything like that with an S Pen, you can use that S Pen on your S21 Ultra. So, just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video, do a comparison of the two S Pens. Also, to discuss the name <laughs> of the S Pen. It's not a 5G S Pen. The name 5G is in is part of the name of the S Pen, but um, to my knowledge, there's no special functionality of this particular S Pen. Uh, there's no clicky button on the back. It's made akin to its bigger brother, the Galaxy Tab S Pens. But um, other than that, yeah. See, this keep wigging out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all for watching, guys. If you are not currently subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos coming here in the near future. This is Lynn, a.k.a. GGT, Gaming Gadgets and Technology. Till next time, guys, take care, be safe, and we will see you on the next video.